Good morning from beautiful Tirana. But today we're gonna go to Struga, Macedonia. Woo! So we're gonna vlog our trip in Macedonia. We are eating for our breakfast like pace with rice. Yes, that's what we eat for breakfast here. It's very traditional. And pace, if you don't know, it's uh, like um, from the meat of the head of the baby cow. <laughs> we get the meat and we make a delicious soup. <laughs> and it's very traditional. You also eat it with the rice. It's actually a very feeling breakfast, I would say. You should try it if you're here. It's very sunny in Albania. Very sunny. But we will leave Albania soon and we're gonna go to the border with Macedonia. I got very surprised, it's only two hours. Super near. From Tirana to go to Struga, to Macedonia. Struga. So first stop is gonna be in a manosphere. We are gonna walk and we just arrived in one of the largest lakes of Europe, which is called Ocher. Like it's impossible to swim. Mm. We saw the sign, and uh, the monastery it is closed, but you can walk around, and the weather is so good. Like, and the, the lake is really clean, the water so clean. And I, by the way, if you want to know, it's 300 meter deep, quite deep. Struga now, and we are gonna stay around the city and check it out. It's a bit windy, but not that much. Like, we are seeing now from uh, the lake, it becomes actually the river that goes around Albania. It's called Trini, and it's one like our biggest mouth, uh, our biggest river. <laughs> it's so funny. We are in Macedonia, but we see Albanian flags around <laughs> and we can talk Albanian. <laughs> Actually, majority of the population here is Albanians in Struga. And we are walking now across the river. It's a very nice uh, walk. One euro coffee. Perfect trip. <laughs> Walking around uh, Struga, does it feel different? Do you feel like you're in Macedonia? A, bit, a, bit, a little uh, bit? I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, we do hear a lot of Albanian here. But it, it, I mean, also, also the letters are different. So I don't understand the language here. We need to try the food. We need to try the food. Let's see how it will be the traditional food. And I'll let you know about the prices as well. We just converted some euro to dinar. A 30 euro was 1,500 dinar. Looks good. <laughs> Let's see if we'll make it to eat lunch with this money. Like it? Very nice. Very nice. So 
our next destination in Macedonia is Ahar. Yeah, it's a city actually. And uh, it's a bit windy. What are we gonna do? Drink coffee, most probably. <laughs> <laughs> the lakeside. I mean, even though they say it's a beach here, and uh, you can rent a bike if you want to go around the city. Okay, here it's only sixty thousand people. Struga was even less. The capital is uh, called uh, Skup, Skopje, <laughs> and so many people. Like in social media, like Instagram. If you check it out, my Instagram, Costandina. They're like, it's not Macedonia, it's North Macedonia. Everyone is like, it's North Macedonia. Because I made a video like, oh, here in Macedonia. <laughs> and I'm like, so where is South Macedonia? Where is East Macedonia? <laughs> where is West Macedonia, people? <laughs> so funny, but really this city is really beautiful. Like antique streets and perfect, even in this weather. Yeah, really beautiful we weather, casitas, like houses, the lake. The mountains. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> yeah. Now we are headed to Saint Sophia's Church. We're gonna check it out. It doesn't seem to be far. Like the city is small. So right behind me is uh, St. Sophia's Church. It's built from the first century. The history is so beautiful. Uh, to enter there inside is only three euros. I really like it. So nice. We're not entering just because of the timing, because we are just a tour, but I would highly recommend it for you to enter. And we also saw it a little bit from outside. Oh my God, so cool. Someone recognized me here. <laughs> Was like, are you from Instagram? I mean, I'm from Instagram, from TikTok, from YouTube, or anything now. And we bought some chips. We, what is that? Taste? Kaimak. Kaimak. I have never tried it before. Look, it's like this. Very interesting. So now we are doing a quick stop in the Gulf of Bones. Actually, there's some really cute houses right there. You can enter for free until one part and then you have to pay in their currency in dinar. So cute, the casitas here. So if you want, you can also enter in the houses and the museum here is called the Museum of Water because they discover while diving a lot of bones from animals and ceramic vessels, like it's very interesting.
we arrive now in Saint Naum and we are gonna go right away to the monastery up. It is believed that in the grave there of Saint Naum, if you put your head there, you can hear his heartbeat, even though I mean, he's dead, but yeah, that's what the legend has it. Here. There is a peacock! <laughs> so cute! <laughs> First thing I noticed here, we just arrived in St. Naum. There's so many peacocks and they're saying that be careful because they might hurt you or and your children. We are back now in Albania, in Pogradec. We are enjoying our lunch here and we are going to eat traditional Albanian fish from the lake here, the part of Albania. It's the same lake. <laughs> the same lake but Albania. <laughs> So we just finished our lunch, late uh, lunch, dinner, I don't know, but price is so good, like 500 milliliters, we got the wine and it's, it was only 3 euro the wine. And then we got like veggies for 2 euro, we got fresh fish from the lake, like 10 euros, like really, really happy. She said it was expensive. <laughs> So this was our trip, Macedonia and back to Pogradet, Slovenia. I hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. <laughs> and see you the next time. Make sure to subscribe if you're not. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>